Well, folks, it's autumn, a time of gathering pumpkins and clearing harvests, a time of gathering firewood, and a preparation for new beginnings, and a time for autumn stories, stories like, well, like the Tinkerman's Daughter. Have you heard that one? No. Well, then. <laughs> The wee birds were lining the bleak autumn branches, preparing to fly to a far sunny shore, when the tinkers made camp at a bend in the river, coming back from the horse fair in Balhinas Lore. Well, the harvest being over, a farmer went walking, along that fair river that bordered his land. And twas there he first saw her twixt firelight and water, the tigerman's daughter, the red-headed Anne. The next morn he awoke from a night without resting. He went to the tinker and he made his case known. And together the two of them worked out a bargain, to the tinker a pony, to the daughter a home. That night as long shadows fell on that fair river, the tinker and the farmer inspected their land, and a white gelding pony was a price they agreed on. For the tinkerman's daughter, the red-headed Anne. Well, the wedding soon over, the tinkers departed, eager to be along south down the road. But the sound of their iron-shod hooves crunch on gravel was as bitter to her as the way she'd been sold. Yet she tried hard to please him, she did all his bidding. She slept in his bed and she worked on the land. But the walls of that cabin pressed tighter and tighter on the tinkerman's daughter, the red-headed Anne. Well, white as the hands of a priest or a hangman, the snow spread its blanket by the next Christmas round. The tinkerman's daughter slipped out of his bedside, turned her back to the cabin and her face to the sun. They say someone saw her at dusk that same evening, making her way across hills and white plains. But that was the last that the subtle folk saw her. The Tinkerman's Daughter, the Red-Headed Anne. Today, where those hills cup that beautiful river, sits a broken-down cabin and a bitter old man who swears by the shotgun he keeps at his bedside that he'll kill any tinker he catches on his land. For yet, when he hears iron-shod hooves crunch on gravel, or a horse in the shafts of a bright caravan, then his day's work's tormented, his night's sleep demented, by the tinkerman's daughter, the red-headed Anne.